Hi guys and welcome back to A Pinch of Perfection. So today I've got a really, really lovely recipe for you. It's a Thai green curry. Now, I don't, my pan's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to see just because I'm using a really, really deep one. Um, so hopefully it'll be okay, but it's a really, really good recipe. It's really easy really simple and it's delicious and for all you there who have ever thought oh you know what i just want to make a thai green curry at home it's basic and simple it's a good thing to start off with in terms of making curries and as i said it's healthy and delicious so yeah i hope you guys enjoy okay so what i'm going to start off with is two tablespoons of oil so it can be any kind of oil olive oil or sunflower oil and at the moment I've got my pan on a medium heat so I'm going to let that heat up really really nicely and for about 30 seconds okay then I have some chilies which I have sliced now these ones are the mixed green and red chilies they're the mild ones so they're not too too spicy so I've cut up a green chilli and a red chilli. So I'm going to pop these in. And I have got six garlic cloves, which I have minced. So I'm going to pop that in too. And give that a mix. Okay, so you want to mix this for about one minute. And you want to keep it on that medium heat so the garlic doesn't burn. Okay, now, here I have got some Thai green paste, which I'm going to now add in. As I said, I will put um, the quantities below. Just gonna get all of that off the spoon. Okay, now you wanna, Get your pan to a high heat and you just want to mix in the paste. So the idea is you want to cook the paste for a couple of minutes, mix it in with the garlic and the chilli. You have really, really nice fragrant aromatic spices that are involved in making Thai green curry. So you want to let them all mix in nicely together. Okay, so I've mixed in the paste with the garlic and the chilli for a couple of minutes. I'm going to turn my heat back to a low heat and I'm now going to add in my coconut milk. So here I have two 400 grams of coconut milk, which I'm going to slowly add. and give that a mix. <laughs> now mix it well and I'd say leave it on that low medium heat just to cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, so now keeping it on that low medium heat, I'm going to start adding in my chicken and my veggies. So here, I have cut up about eight chicken thighs. Now, whenever I cook curries, if it's not bone chicken, then the best chicken I think to use is chicken thighs because they just come out so much more soft and tender. So I've removed the fat off the chicken thighs and cut them into small bite-sized chicken pieces. So I'm gonna add that in. Okay, and give that a mix. <laughs> okay, now to this chicken, I am going to add in one red onion, which I have chopped up into chunks, two red peppers, which I've chopped up into chunks as well, I got some baby mushrooms, love mushrooms, so I used a whole pack of them and chopped them up. 
and then I have a few green beans. So, like I said, it's healthy, nutritious, you just got simple ingredients to make such an easy curry. So, if you just mix those vegetables in. Now, it may look like not enough sauce and so many vegetables, but the sauce will um, come through. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add in half a cup of water and give that a mix. Okay, now what the best thing is to do is pop a lid on your pan and put it onto a medium heat. Now, as I've said before, um, I don't want to put it on a high heat, so I'm going to keep it on a nice medium heat just so I can let the chicken and the vegetables cook and they can really simmer in that sauce and um, turn out really, really nicely. So I'm going to keep it like this for about half an hour and I'm going to stir halfway in between. So just pop a lid on it, leave it to cook and yeah, we'll see how it is in half an hour. Okay, so I have let it cook for 15 minutes, checked on it halfway and then let it cook for 15 minutes further. So like I said before, you just wanted to leave it for that half an hour just so it could nicely simmer, the vegetables and the chicken can cook. So what I'm going to do now is I have half a teaspoon of caster sugar. If you don't have caster sugar, you can add normal sugar. So I'm going to add that and I'm going to also add a teaspoon of salt. Now I'd say add half a teaspoon of salt and then add more to taste. It just kind of depends on however much you want. Okay, so you can also add one teaspoon of fish sauce. I don't have any, I've actually run out, um, but I will pop it below. And finally, I'm going to add some kefir lime leaves. Now, these are optional. Obviously, it's not something that you would have lying around the house, so I've bought them. I've bought the dry ones, so they last a long time, and then I can use them whenever I'm making this. As I said, it's perfect for like a midweek meal. It's quick and easy, it's tasty. You can just cook it, and it only takes about 45 minutes, including prep time. And I've also got some rice um, on the boil as well. So I've got about six. So I'm going to add these and give it a good mix. Now, what I would say is once you've added the kefir lime leaves, leave it to cook for about five more minutes and then give it a taste. It's always important to make sure that the chicken is cooked. That's why I always cut it into mini bite-sized pieces so they do cook faster and they do cook evenly. And you also want to make sure that your vegetables are cooked so they're not too, too crunchy and then they're not too soft. So, like I said, I'm going to leave it for a further five minutes, still on that same medium heat, and then I'm going to give it a taste and see if it needs anything. So. If you think it needs more salt, add more salt. If you want to give it a bit of a kick, add more chilli. Um, like I said, it's just a great tasty, tasty recipe that's really, really easy to make. And you know, when I was first starting to cook, I first learnt this dish and it just really increased my confidence and just showed me that, you know, I can make a nice dish. So please try it, please give it a try, please let me know how you find it. I know that some of you have already tried a few dishes and said that they've turned out really well and sent me pictures. So thank you so, so much. I will put the final product at the end of the video as I do and thank you and take care.